Hey, listen, if you thought Samsung is content with uh, just having two foldable lineups, think again. Because yes, it seems the company might be giving us an entirely new foldable this time, and I mean along with the Z Fold and Z Flip. It looks like the rumors of the larger MacBook Air are making a comeback and for real, but there's a catch. And Microsoft was just allegedly hacked by the same group that uh, got Samsung earlier this month. I'm Jaime Rivera and wow, it's Thursday again, or as we like to say in Honduras, welcome to Small Friday. This is Parking Out Daily. The official news today begin with OnePlus. Finally, we've been complaining for months now of the fact that the OnePlus 10 Pro wasn't being released globally, but uh, uh, the time has finally come. The company has announced earlier today that they will be hosting a OnePlus 10 Pro global launch event on March 31st at 10 a.m. Eastern. The event will be live streamed on YouTube on their official channel. I don't think I really need to remind you of what we're getting here. The 10 Pro brings a 6.7 inch LTPO 2.0 display. It's powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, 12 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM, a 5,000 milliamp hour battery with boot fast charging and more. It also brings a triple camera array with a 48 megapixel primary, a 50 megapixel ultra wide and 8 megapixel telephoto. And yes, the global variant will bring Oxygen OS 12 instead of Color OS. Uh, so yeah, we're a week away from the event, and the funny thing is embargoes. I could only show you the box, and you could see it on our Instagram. Yeah, stay tuned for more. Let's switch on to Microsoft and hacking issues that uh, seem to be a recurring problem. A new report alleges that Microsoft was hacked earlier this week by Lapsus, and uh, they're claiming that 37 gigs of Microsoft source code have been leaked. Bleeping Computer reports that the data came from Microsoft's Azure DevOps server, and it includes code from high profile and internal projects relating to Bing Search, Bing Maps, and Cortana, which are not high profile services. But anyways, security researchers confirmed that the collection does appear to include legitimate Microsoft source code and some projects even include emails and documentation meant for Microsoft engineers to publish. However, it looks like the code doesn't apply to other locally run desktop software like Windows or the Office Suite, which are our popular services. For those of you that didn't know, this is the same group that hacked Samsung earlier this month and they've also gone after companies like NVIDIA. At the, the moment, we're not exactly sure if Microsoft has addressed the problem, but uh, I mean, we'll keep you posted if it does affect you. But all right, let's shift gears onto Cupertino and the MacBook Air. Recently, all the leaks have been focusing on a revamped uh, that we're reportedly getting in Q3, but Apple might be cooking something entirely different for the future. We have a new report from the DSSC claiming that Apple is working on a 15-inch MacBook Air that uh, would launch next year. And not only that, but they'll also be slightly increasing the display size of the 13-inch variant next year as well. Uh, other than this, we haven't heard anything about this MacBook Air's design, but Mark Gerber did put out a report last year saying that Cupertino was working on this behind the scenes and that the SSC report also mentions that we could expect a new entry-level iPad with a larger display next year which I think is due for a refresh. Now obviously a larger MacBook Air is an interesting proposition considering that we've had a 15-inch MacBook Pro forever but you know what MacBook Air I really want? You remember the 11-inch variant and then that small 12-inch MacBook? Now that is a Mac that would be amazing with Apple Silicon, uh, if we could just get it. And finally for the hottest news today, let's talk about Samsung and their upcoming foldables, which uh, would also be their next big release this year. So far, the company has been perfecting two models we've had for a couple of years now, and they're amazing, but it looks like we're finally getting something new. Uh, we have a new report from Galaxy Club claiming that Sammy is working on three new foldables at the moment, uh, that being the Galaxy Z Flip 4, Z Fold 4, and uh, the third device that's uh, still unknown. 
and they can uh, tell because of the current code names of the projects. The three code names are B4, Q4, and N4, with the Z Flip being B4, the Z Fold being Q4, based on previous models. Now we have a new tweet from Ice Universe where he's confirming that there is a third foldable device set to be released in the second half of this year, which is codenamed Diamond. Heck, he even added a picture of some executives where one of them is reportedly holding the phone. He claims that there is a high probability that this is a scrolling phone. Now, I'm not sure if that means it's a rollable, but hey, I mean, I'm down for something new. Uh, he also added that both the Z Fold and the Z Flip would be powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 Plus, which will be built by TSMC's 4 nanometer process. For today's question, let us know, I mean, what other foldable would you like to see from Samsung? Because honestly, I'm not exactly sure that I want a rollable. If anything, if you remember, we covered so many rumors of a more affordable Z Fold. And I think that's what the market needs. Just like that, uh, like, bang that the Z Flip 3 brought with the design plus the drop in price, I think that that's what the market wants, honestly. It's awesome for you to have the Z Fold 4 with the S Pen functionality, and I mean, the company can charge whatever they want for that, but to have an entry-level foldable is, I think, what we need most. But that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me. Fine, I, I need better dad jokes. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you uh, tomorrow.